What is going on guys? Grave here. Welcome back to Call of Duty Modern Warfare. Today we did receive update 1.07. It went live early this morning. I'm going to link these patch notes down in the description below so you can read over them if you would like. It's going to be a little bit longer video than normal because there's a lot of information within this update. So let's get right into it. First of all, we did receive farmland for ground war and shoot house for a 6v6 map. So we got two new free maps today. Hard point was added to the rotation. Also, a 24-7 shoot house uh, playlist has been made available with Team Deathmatch, Dom, Kill Confirmed, and Headquarters. Shoot house supposed to be a small three-lane map, so I think that's going to interest a lot of people out there. And, of course, all this content is free for everyone across all platforms. When it comes to the patch notes, they did a lot of changes, a lot of updates, a lot of fixes. First of all, when it comes to just kind of just general fixes, they did back-end fixes to prevent crashes and improve stability across all platforms. Fix the bug where some players were allowed to use streaks or field, field upgrades out of bounds. Also fixed a bug where a player being killed by an enemy with a variable zoom scope would not see the zoom function in the kill cam. Fix the Simtex audio warning. They said the sound was the same whether you were outside or inside, so that has been fixed. Uh, players were able to place attack insert and respawn where their uh, team had owned the point in headquarters. That has also been fixed. Various collision issues across the map. Some UI updates to show when XP events are live in certain playlists. Sprint and tactical sprint speeds are back to the beta uh, speed. So I'm kind of curious to see how that's going to play out in game. I can't tell a massive difference between the beta and now. But I'm kind of curious to see what these sprint speeds are going to be like if we're going to be able to move around the map a little bit quicker. Fixed a bug with the progress of the bomb defusal. Could be seen by the team that planted the bomb. Fixed the bug where players were being revealed by UAVs, even if they had ghost on and even if they were firing a silenced weapon. I had noticed this myself. I did not know if you guys have noticed this. But if an enemy had a UAV up, you were actually physically showing up on the minimap. Uh, just like someone that was firing a weapon without a you know, without a silencer on. Uh, I thought maybe they were just trying to do something different. You just kind of blip up every couple seconds, and I thought, well, maybe they're just trying to do something different, uh, you know, to not make ghost silence players completely invisible. But apparently that was a bug, and that has been fixed. Uh, they did do some changes with the riot shield. They fixed the issue where the throwing knife and the thermite were causing the shield not to go on the player's back when thrown. Also, they fixed the issue where explosive splash damage wasn't working consistently. They said they will continue to monitor and work on the right shield in the future. Detonating an enemy claymore with bullets is now non-lethal when at full health. And we've, they've also reduced the trigger damage radius and also the damage width to better match the trigger width. So it looks like those claymores are still going to be lethal if you run right into them, but you're not going to be able to trigger it as far away. And hopefully they fixed that where you can't trigger it from behind or the side because that's what was really kind of annoying me. I don't mind the damage straight on. I understand that. But when you were kind of getting blown up from the side or from behind the claymore, that was pretty annoying. When it comes to battle chatter, they removed the ability for enemies to hear when they have been called out by the opposing team. They've also adjusted enemy callouts so they are never from your operator. Enemy callouts now use more restricted cone at the hip and even more restricted in ADS when calculating whether or not to be triggered. They said they will continue to monitor battle chatter and you do some more tweaks in the future. While you mount your weapon now, you will have a slight increase to recoil. Also, the EOD perk now clamps damage to non-lethal amount, assuming the player is at full health. So it looks like EOD has gotten a pretty big substantial buff as well. It looks like EOD is going to be a little bit stronger than it was. They said they've continued to update player visibility in dark windows and dark areas for the lighting. When it comes to footsteps, they said the occlusion percentage to filter footstep sounds behind uh, behind and adjust the footstep volume at a distance. They have another large change coming in the next update, which will make crouch and ADS movement significantly quieter. So stay tuned. So it looks like we got a, a small kind of nerf to the footsteps today. It looks like we're going to get even more in the upcoming days or the upcoming you know week for the next patch. I'm... I don't mind that they're working with footsteps. I think they are a bit too loud. I do think you should be able to hear people that are very close to you. I'm hoping it doesn't kind of turn into some of these past COD games where you absolutely can't hear anybody and somebody can just walk right up on you or run right up on you. And you never know they're there. You know, there's. I'm kind of hoping they can meet a happy medium here with being not too loud but not too quiet at the same time. Daily challenges. 
and active missions are getting a full sweep of testing and fixes. They say they'll have more updates coming soon for the uh, kind of challenges as well. We've had a lot of issues with challenges not working correctly, challenges not staying selected. They said they fixed a bug where the uh, infiltrator challenge was not tracking properly. Uh, fixed the bug for uh, launchers not giving XP when shooting down kill streaks. That was a big issue. So now you can get XP for using launchers for just shooting down kill streaks, not having to shoot, you know, just enemies specifically. Fixed a bug where planning or defusing five bombs in cyber attack or S and D was not tracking proper properly. Uh, camo challenges for kills after a reload didn't give the player enough time to acquire a kill, so that has been increased. Fixed a bug where the XP required to reach the next rank was higher than the value needed. Now, when it comes to weapons, guys, we did get some tweaking for the weapons. Not a massive overhaul, but a pretty big one. The 725 shotgun, the one that everybody has been kind of griping about. I don't mind the shotgun, just I don't like the range. They increased the ADS to hip fire spread and reduced the damage range. The M4A1 assault rifle reduced the damage range and gave it a small recoil increase. All assault rifles increased hip fire spread to reduce effectiveness up close, less damage at range for full autos of 556 five, type rifles. Which is, I don't know, full, I'm, full auto hip fire is kind of rough without a laser, so we'll have to see if, um, you know, how this is going to work, you know, up close. I, I'm not sure if I'm a big fan either of less damage at all ranges for 5.56 five, rifles. We'll kind of have to wait and see how that works as well. Increased movement speed, increased ADS movement speed, and small reduction in sprint out time for SMGs. They increased the damage to the Uzi, increased the hip spread and damage reduction range to the MG34. The M91 LMG increased hip spread and small damage range reduction. PKM, medium damage range reduction and increased hip spread. Pistols increased movement speed. Reduce sprint out time and increase damage range and crouch and prone no longer affects or adjust your recoil. They also did some updates to the CDL competitive playlist for private match. Also a ton of changes to spec ops. Fixes for the scoreboard. Uh, fixes issues where munitions were not usable after respawning uh, via gunship. Fixes for losing your weapons and picking up, uh, picking up the core. Achievements can now be unlocked in CP. Fixed bugs for all of the different operations and individuals. So hopefully this crashing within uh, co-op will be fixed. Anyway, guys, that's everything. Like I said, this is all going to be linked down in the description below if you want to read over all of it in detail for yourself. Of course, if you like the video, make sure you hit the like. If you have not subscribed yet, please do so. Be sure to click that bell icon up in the top right corner so you know when all my videos go live. And if you do have a chance, share the video. It does help out the channel a lot. And you can check out the new affiliate I have here, GT Racing. They sell gaming chairs and office chairs. Their information is also linked down in the description. I'll catch you guys next time. Peace.